21. Coming up is 10 laps of round two, leg two of the Shell Oils 250cc Australian Championship. All in readiness, Jeff Sale finished fifth in the first round. He's got to make good this time. Best starter though is 31, David Moore. He blasts away with again, Matt Cooley blasting through from the second row on bike number eight. And so, leads. That's Cooley so, from Moore. Bike. 30, Graham Morris in third position. 21 bikes in all. And very, very closely spaced on this first lap of 10, 20 kilometres around Baskerville. It's not Morris, it's Jeff Sale in third position. Martin Renfrey's hitting another bunch on 33, and you can see further back Graham Morris on 30. He's the one in the Scholastic team that's got the bad run this time. Moore comes out of the draft, goes for the run on bike eight, Cooley, and takes over the lead. And you could truthfully say that 10 bikes are spread probably over about 1.2 seconds. Sale now throws out his challenge up the main straight and takes over second position. So Cooley goes back to third place. And I didn't think there was any way that the great experience of Jeffrey Sale and cool, calm running as a rider there uses the feet to keep him on the bitumen. He was uh, cranked over and if he'd hit the dirt at that angle, he'd have been in a lot of trouble, Two spearing of off. Goes one of the bikes that was fairly well placed. Could it be uh, Cooley? There we are, 31, 33. Is it Martin Renfrey again? Yes. Martin Renfrey, who crashed in the second heat at Sandown, the optician, who's turned motorcycle wrecker and racer. I mean, that he has a business of uh, wrecking motorbikes, as well as perhaps at this moment an occupation. And planning to do four World Championship European Grand Prix later this year. David Moore is in the lead. Behind him is Geoffrey Sale with the red helmet on the first of the Celastic Yamahas. Up to Winfield Corner, where that crash occurred. And then down the ski slope of a drop onto the back straight. Half a kilometre long. Moore is doing a great job. He took fourth overall on his 250 today in the 1,000cc two heats, both over 10 laps. And you see here that uh, Cooley, still well placed on eight. And holds out Graham Morris in fourth position as we watch the battle for the lead between David Moore and Geoffrey Sale. 27 follows them, David Horton. Moore doing a great job against Geoffrey Sale on 10. But Sale in no hurry at this stage. He wants to lead on the end of lap 10. Somewhere between the exit of the last corner of the finishing line will do him just fine. That's how, in fact, he won one of the races down at Sandown. His teammate Graham Morris there on 30s in fourth place. He's hard pressing Matt Cooley. And lots of wrist as they come down about three gears to second to start in this tight sweeper that brings them back onto the main straight. And still Cooley holds out Morris and Horton on 27, heads Derek Foster on two. That's the first six in behind this battle. David Moore and Geoffrey Sale for first place.
David Moore, Ride District Club in Sydney, doing a great job against Jeff Sale. He's a member of Hartwell Club, although I'm not sure that he hasn't been in Ride Club or whether he's not still there recording the program in Hartwell. And then Matt Cooley, he's okay. Graham Just Morris, a a gap on Morris and Horton. Is dropping back. Yes, Horton, 27, has got up with him. So Morris, with the mechanical problem that he was worried about, perhaps is seeing it uh, come true. And Derek Foster hangs just a little way behind that battle on bike two. Foster from South Australia. Still Geoffrey Sale at the moment, without the goods to claim first place. David Moore doing a very good job there, la lapping in the middle 57s, about 57.4 fairly consistently. And maintaining just, just enough of a lead that he keeps Sale out of the slipstream down the back straight. Sale a bit closer this time. This circuit has hosted two previous rounds of the Australian Road Race Championship and it's been in the 250 class that uh, there's been most of an upset and Neil Cubitt came here one year, blasted the field but didn't go on with it in the remainder of the Australian Championships. Now they come round and they complete lap six. Lower 57's about a 57-2 and Cooley is being very close hounded by Horton on 27, back in third and fourth. Now Moore goes just a bit wide in the S's and Sales seizes that advantage to close the gap just a little bit more as they come up to the back straight. Now this time Sale wants to be perfect in his run down onto the to the the half kilometre long back straight because he's going to get into the slipstream with the opportunity to pull out of the draft and claim a braking duel at the other end. Is he close enough? The answer this time round, possibly not. The fast bikes down there lift the back wheels up, clear off the deck, under brakes. It's a pretty tentative time for the riders. If they're not square, the back will come round on them. As they go across the touch, he's like Jeff Sale down the inside, but will be squeezed out and will go back to second place. Determined stuff by David Moore, uh, sensible stuff by Geoffrey Sale. Had to give way, no purpose in bumping fairings on lap eight in a 10 lap. Not a lot of fun on lap 10, but at least there's some good reasoning for it then. Moore really does have his bike wound up, doesn't he? That Yamaha 250. And Sale claims a new 250cc lap record, according to the official timekeepers, a 56.96. So that takes almost 0.2 of a second off the Donny Osborne lap record set in this class two years ago here. As now Sale closes up again on the back of bike 31, David Moore. Up the main straight this time. Two laps remaining. Horton now in front of Matt Cooley and Graham Morris hanging on for fifth. Derek Foster's sixth on two. Tremendous battle for the lead that is in no way, I think, you'll find resolved. Geoffrey Sale won't give up. David Moore is responding beautifully, defending well, doing the times, but covering his lines as well. And he'd love to see a win. It would be his first in an Australian Championship heat. Geoffrey Sale knows first places only too well. And his big goal is the Australian round of the World Championship 250 Grand Prix at Phillip Island next year. That's what the man on bike 10 is aiming for. He's been to Europe, desperately wants to keep compete in that race in Australia. As they go out now on their final. Two kilometres remaining now. Eight corners to go for Geoffrey Sale to try and make some advantage on David Moore in the lead. Moore always late. Goes out wide through the S's and Sale always catches up just that little bit. But Moore seems to have enough grunt up this back well, hill. It can work well because if Moore's just a touch slow and Sale has to lift, then he's the one that gets the bad run onto the straight. Or that run up the hill. 53, one of them bikes that they'll be lapping, Shane Holmberg. Lap riders could be significant here as Sale comes out of their draft and gets into the draft. 
allowed by David Moore, but he's not close enough unless it's a desperate under Blake Smith, so it can't pull off. Could try and position himself for a drag to the line, but he's lost too much ground. And so I think David Moore will do the job. But Jeffrey Sale won't give up either as he cracks at him and they go across the line just one bike length apart. But it's victory for David Moore on the yellow machine, number 31, both of them Yamahas, from Jeffrey Sale, the Grand Prix veteran. Second, the man though leading the championship as they came into this round and into third place is David Horton on bike 27 from Matt Cooley on bike 8 with about half a second between them.